Hi folks, Gordon Brewer here with the Practice of Therapy. I just want to give you a big thanks for downloading the uh, and purchasing the Session Note Helper. You know, it's been something that I've been working on for quite some time and have gone through different phases of it. Uh, but this Session Note Helper 2.0, if you will, I think is a big improvement over the Word template that I had previously developed. And in this, um, in this uh, tool and in this system, you will need to have a Google account. And I would highly recommend that you get the paid version of G Suite or the paid version of a Google account, which is just simply titled uh, G Suite. And you'll see a link for that in the, uh, in the notes that you downloaded uh, that you should have received. But the two things that you'll need to do first in order to get started with the templates is to uh, download and get the copies of the Session Note Helper form and the Session Note Helper uh, Google Doc. Both of those are two things that you'll need. So, And then in the Quick Start Guide here, I'll show you how to link those two things so you can quickly get started with using the Session Note Helper system. So let's jump in here, folks, and thanks again for, uh, for purchasing the Session Note Helper 2.0. Hi folks, wanted to give you a quick rundown of the quick start guide um, for the Session Note Helper. So first thing you'll want to do is, uh, first of all I want to mention that you will need to have a, um, a Google account and I would highly recommend that you get the paid version of G Suite um, uh, in order to set up HIPAA security and, and make it HIPAA compliant. If you need to know more information about that, you can go to um, G Suite course and order the full course. And some of you might have already gotten the full course, which the quick, uh, Session Note Helper is included in that course. So I just wanted to mention that, that you'll need to be logged into Google and have a Google account in order to use the Session Note Helper. So in this uh, PDF that you've received, um, you'll see uh, two links here. One is, the first one is, a is a link in order to, to enable you to make a copy of the Session Note Helper template, which is a Google Form. And the second part of the Session Note Helper is having the Google Doc, which the Google Form uses to uh, populate. So if you'll click on, click on it, it will prompt you to make a copy. So um, just click on the link there, and it will put a copy into your drive automatically uh, and do the same for the Google Doc. And it should open the document for you. Now this is the Google form and everything should be preloaded on you based on the information that I use for my session notes. Um, then you want to go download the copy of the Google Doc and it should open it as well. So the next step you want to do is you want to be sure that you link these two documents together, these two uh, uh, pieces of information, and you need to do that using, using an add-on called Form Publisher. So if you'll go over here to this, this puzzle piece, now I'm not sure what, what you'll receive on your end. You might already have this in there where it's prompting you for Form, form Publisher. Most likely it will. If not, you can go over here to More and click on Add-ons and just simply type in Form Publisher. And it will bring up the add-on. So we're going to go ahead and load this add-on. And I'm going to add my account here. And it's going to ask you all these questions and just say allow. And so you should be linked there. So now it's got when you click on the puzzle piece, um, it'll take you through some tutorials. If you want to go through those or just click on I got it. And then you next want to have uh, say I have my own template. And it'll bring up this Google uh, picker. And probably it will be pretty close to the front of the, of the list there since you just uh, downloaded it. And you'll click on that and you'll select it. And then it will work here on the side. 
and you want to make sure it's got a check mark here next to 27 markers matching and that lets you know that everything uh, matches up between the, the copy of the session note helper and the, and the, and the Google Doc. Then click Next. And what you can do here is tell it where to, to uh, save your, um, your outputs. In other words, your, your notes when you actually create them. What I would do is suggest that you change this title template to name. And that way you'll be able to find your, um, your note based on the client's name rather than just a number. Um, it automatically creates a, uh, an output folder here. You'll notice that this is a shared folder, so you want to change that. You'll want to change the folder. And so what I would do is just simply uh, create a new folder. And you could or pick one that you've already got here. Um, you probably have to go into your Google Docs and just change and create a folder. There's uh, one that I've already created there called Session Notes. And so you can select that and it will automatically load your, your notes into that, that folder. Then you'll click Next. And um, I uncheck this because you probably don't want um, um, want to um, have an email sent to you automatically. Uh, you can keep a copy of, of it in a PDF format. Again, I don't know if you need that or not. Um, the validation workflow um, just lets you know if you've completed everything all right. Again, I'll just leave that unchecked. And then you're done. And so then you can try it. You see when you click try it, what it does is it brings up the working copy of your session that helper. So um, this, this you can go ahead and just start filling in. And um, I'm just going to put Gordon and you can see how this works. You just quickly go through. I'm not going to do all of this um, in this note, but you should be good to go. And then you'll be able to look in your Google Drive folder uh, this, that, that you've labeled as a session note helper uh, place to receive that. And you should be up and running. Uh, do take a look at the full course, which I've sent you uh, a link to that as well. And it goes into more detail about how you can customize your session note helper and also um, make changes to it. So take care, folks.